Hi, Gemini. So this is going to be your reading for June 2022. It is now Gemini season, so it's your season right now. Uh, we're going to take a look at the month ahead and see what comes through for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements of Gemini. Uh, if you don't know your placements, you can always Google a birth chart generator and input your date and time of birth, and you'll be able to find out your placements. So we're just going to go right into it for Gemini, June 2022. Let's see what's happening for you during Gemini season. Oh, Okay, we got eights for you. Interesting. What places you can see. It looks like you're definitely moving away from something that no longer serves you. Um, we'll have to go further into your reading to see what that is, but this is definitely movement away. You're moving on from something. Let's see here. Gemini for, oh, Gemini for 20, June 2022. We have the Hierophant. Um, this represents Taurus, in case that is relevant for you. And... We have, oh wow, so nice. You're having a good month, aren't you? Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So you seem to be very happy, fulfilled um, in your relationships or just in your life in general. Someone is being very generous to you. I see in the Hierophant um, connection to spirituality, uh, that may be something you're interested in doing in the month of June. Um, it also um, says to me to kind of uh, don't make any big changes. It seems to be that what you're doing is working out for you. So you don't need to make any huge uh, changes or left turns anywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. The tower is coming out reversed. Um, so I'll take it like that. So it seems like you possibly have been through a tower moment but things have already been changing and your situation has vastly improved and it's telling you to kind of stay the course um, and you'll do well no need to make any big changes in your life uh, things are balancing out for you with the Ten of Cups. Nice loving relationship in your life. Let's not shuffle properly right now. We have the Ace of Wands. Ooh, something new happening. New opportunity. New attraction perhaps. You're attracted to a new person. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody being very attracted to you. That they almost can't handle it. <laughs> and they want to tell you. They want to approach you. This Knight of Cups. They want to get to know you and approach you. Oh, we have a card coming in. With the Nice. The King of Cups. Um, that tells me that they're very emotionally mature. Emotionally available. Perhaps you just went through a breakup. I don't know. That doesn't have to be everyone's case or you were dating someone and it just didn't work out and you thought it would um i do see someone new coming in um that's gonna be much more of a fulfilling relationship to explore for you with the three of wands so yeah i do see lots of regression Possibly in your relationships with other people. And this could be all sorts of relationships. Doesn't have to be romantic. Um, but I do see somebody who is probably very interested in you. Getting to know you. Coming together with you. Very attracted to you. So let's see what else we can get here. We have the Strength card and the Three of Cups. Uh, the Strength card is Leo. In case that's relevant for you. Three of Cups, I see like social events. Um, maybe you'll get together with this person in a group setting or you'll meet this person in a group setting. 
We have the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Lots of Wands energy in general. And Wands are indicative of passion and attraction. Let's get one more for you here. Gemini. The Page of Swords. I see that as your energies. You're almost like starting fresh as this page... Um, you're starting a new chapter, you're moving on from something that was not so great um, with the Tower and the Eight of Cups, and you're moving on, you're, the tables are turning, and your fortune is changing, and you're moving towards um, basically everything you've ever wanted with this card. Like, look how fulfilled they are, look how happy they are. That's what you're headed towards. I think you're going to make a lot of progression. Maybe because it's also your birthday season, um, you know, that is a time when you reflect upon your life and possibly change direction. I'm going to get some initials for you. Perhaps we'll find out who this person could be. Let's see here. Oh, we have an N. We have an X, and we have an E. And I'm going to get some numbers for you as well. Oh, we got a lot for you. We have three. We have 30. Four. Six, twenty-one, twenty-four, and one. Okay, so that is your reading, Gemini. I hope that resonated with you and you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss my other readings and my other videos. Um, and also don't forget to watch your other placements. Again, that is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!